Hi, Dr. TJ Dixon here, coming to you with a message today on letting go of a job that no longer serves you. Lately, I've had some conversations with people who were working in positions that perhaps they actually liked. Maybe they liked the actual positions they were in, but the organizations that they were working for simply did not align with their values. If you are finding yourself in a position where you, maybe you really enjoy the work that you do, but the organization that you work for is not aligned with you, and you find yourself coming home from work so drained that you can't even live the life that you're working so hard to provide for, it's time to go. For instance, if you're the type of person that loves to work out, and you want to work out after you get off of work, or maybe you like to dance, or maybe you like to go play basketball, but you find yourself so drained after putting, into, putting in your best eight hours of the day, nine to five, it's time to go. There's other people who I've talked to where perhaps they're dealing on their jobs with disorganization, racism, um, um, unfairness, dealing with people who are making, um, they, they're dealing with favoritism. And all of that is to the point that now it's making you ill and you're not able to feel better. You found yourself with a re really severe cold when normally you are very healthy. It's time to go. I've also talked to people who have been in positions where they really love their work and they are doing well at their work and they are the heads of their organizations but now their organizations are starting to fall apart employees are quitting employees are doing crazy things and getting fired some of their top people are leaving and the people who are out in the field in the entry-level positions are also leaving you need to check yourself because it's not all those other people that's the problem you're the problem and it might be time for you to go and let go of your position too yeah, I know that you love your work and I know that you love being at the top, but the organization, what do you love more, your organization or your position? Because if you don't change and you don't let go because your what you've brought to that organization has ran its course, the organization is going to die before your very eyes anyway. And instead of you leaving on top with the contributions that you've given to the organization, you're going to leave on the bottom with the destruction that you're doing because you're no longer aligned with the mission and vision of that organization. So today's message is kind of a tough one. People, we are a working society and most of us give our best aid every day to some position, to a business, to, to some type of work. And what I mean by your best eight is the best eight hours you have in the day to be productive. If during those best eight hours you're coming home drained, you're coming home to the point that you don't want to even live the life you're working so hard for, or you're at the top of the organization and you're seeing your organization falling apart because people are running out the doors like there's a turnstile on the door, it is so time to let it go. Tough, tough um, message today but it's real and it's happening all around me. So I thought I'd put this message out here too to my viewers because maybe you find yourself in that position. Now your question may be, okay, Tamara, I'm in the position where, yeah, I'm dealing with an organization that is misaligned or I'm dealing with a, with a job that I don't even know what I'm doing and I don't even like to do it. What am I supposed to do now? Look inside yourself. What is it that you're really I won't even say good at because I was really good at the, the career I was formerly in. But what is it that really turns you on? What are you passionate about? What is it that your Mondays would feel like Fridays to you? Instead of you dreading your Mondays, you're looking forward to it because you're doing your work. What work is it? What do you like to do that you get lost in it when you do? Or what is it? that you do that energizes you, that when you do it, you don't feel drained. Maybe you're not passionate about it because there are some people who just don't have passion for very much, many things, but they enjoy a lot of things. What is it that you do that fills you, 
that you still feel energized when you do it. You start thinking about those things and then the light bulb may come on on what work you need to be doing to not only fulfill yourself, but fulfill society as well. Thanks for watching. And if you would like to know more about the work I do, check out my website at www.drtjdixon.com. Thank you for watching. Again, let it go if you're in one of those positions and may you live your best life.